Hello, humanity. Uh, I have no idea why I just sang that. Hi everybody, Crimson Wolfie here, and today I am finally going to be doing a remake of my How to Play or a Kingdom series. <laughs> so exciting. Uh, anyways, we're done with my ugly voice, let's get to the video. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, even though I've only posted like three videos, so I don't even know if you've ever been here before, but whatever! I am finally done with summer break, uh, well I won't say finally done because that makes it sound like it's a good thing. It's not. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm finally done with summer break, and I've been in school for about three weeks now, and I've had like next to no homework so far, so I've actually had a lot more gaming time than last year where I didn't play video games, like, the entire school year, which sucked. So yeah, I've been gaming a lot more, I'm able to take more videos, and show you guys all kinds of games and things. Alright, so let's get around to this video, how to play the anime MMORPG called Aura Kingdom by Area Games. So to download this fantastic game, Go to orakingdom.areagames.com. I will pop the link in the description for you so it's easy. Um, so yeah, go to the website, download. Obvious button in the corner. So, after you've downloaded it, you will have an icon. And let's jump right into the game. And now we are in game. Here is the loading screen. Alright, so Aura Kingdom has two servers, Chimera and Phoenix. Phoenix actually used to be two different servers, but um, they recently merged them. Well, recently as in like a couple months ago, but they merged them, so now it's Phoenix. Um, and because of that merge, Phoenix has eight different channels within the server, and Shimera has six. So there's a different number for that. Not that it really makes a difference, but it just means Phoenix can fit more people, I guess. Um, Alright, so uh, my character is on Shimera. And the channel you choose does not matter whatsoever because you can switch between channels in-game. It's just the server that matters because, you know, if I have a character on Shimera, I can't go play on Phoenix and meet people there. I can only meet people on Shimera. So, choose that. Alright, so here's your secondary password. They have this just for extra security and whatnot. Type that in. Alright. Now we're going to load in go view our characters. Sorry this is so laggy, my computer sucks. And sorry for that first part of the video where there was buzzing and stuff, my phone was going off, I turned it off now, so. Alright. I don't know why that's glitchy, but whatever. So here we have two of my characters. Uh, Natsuki987 and Natsukitsu. For each server you can have three characters. As you can see I have one blank slot here because I deleted well, my, my other alt. So you can have up to three characters on each server, not on each channel. So it's not like you can have like 18 characters on Shimera and 24 on Phoenix because it's three per channel. It's just three per server. So um, you can actually purchase extra slots in game uh, in the item mall. And I believe you can get them for other characters, but I'm not quite sure if that's a thing anymore. But yeah, see here you can have all these extra slots, but I don't have it bottom me because I usually just play my main character anyways, obviously, because this one's level 11, this one's level 65. Alright, so I am actually going to show you the character selection screen. Let's go, let's create a new fella, shall we? Alright, here we have the Shadow Knight riding on his horse dramatically, bringing in all his monsters. And now we have the class selection. No, my computer's not lagging. All of these characters are actually frozen in position. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to give you a brief overview of each class that's currently available in the game. They will be adding more soon, I think. I don't know if it'll be soon, but I know of like three other classes that they're not in this version yet. So this is the English version, if you can't already tell. So <laughs> there are a bunch of other versions too. So let's do this. All right, our first class we have here is a guardian. They are a melee class, and they are um, very good at defense, as you can see here. 
So here they have a little preview of their skills. So here's Guardian. They use a sword and a shield as their weapon. Next we have the Ravager. They use an axe as their weapon and they are... What is with these pictures? It's terrible. Okay. They are, again, very good at defense and area of effect. Next we have the Duelist, my personal favorite class because it's my class, uh, who use two swords, another melee class. And they're really good with um, like evasion and speed, just slashing everything. It's pretty awesome. All right, next we have Gunslinger. They use two pistols, and they're also very good with evasion and um, quick melee attacks like that. Oh, ranged. Sorry, not melee. Ranged. You use pistols as melee. You got a problem, man. All right, next we have the Grenadier, who uses basically a big gigantic cannon. So yeah. They are very good at like tanking and defense and stuff like that. Next we have the Bard, magic class. Um, obviously they are very good at healing because Bard. <laughs> uh, if you want to be a Bard, you're basically going to be sought out constantly when it comes to party running dungeons because you're going to need to be good at what you do when it comes to healing. Next we have the Wizard, another magic class, good with area of effect and healing. They use a staff. Next we have the sorcerer. That was a really weird position. She looks very uncomfortable. <laughs> um, they use um, like a spell book type of thing. Uh, good with support, healing, evasion. Pretty cool class actually. I had a character once, um, a sorcerer and a katar. So that's pretty cool. And here it is. Here we have the katar. Um, really good with a uh, good solo type class, I believe. They're good with, um, again, like evasion and speed. Basi like a lot, it's very similar to Duelist with the way they wield two um, like giant knives in their hands, basically. Uh, next we have the Battle Bow, um, an archer, um, ranged class, good with area of effect, pretty good damage too, I believe. Alright, next we have the Tachi, uh, one of the newer classes. Um, they use a, a long like katana type sword. And um, they are melee. Uh, really good uh, evasion and damage, from what I remember. I played this class for a little while, so that, I remember that being a pretty OP class. Same with this one. Um, the scythe is just super overpowered. Um, as you can see, there's three people around this um, scythe wielder. You basically can summon different demons. I believe there's six to choose from. You can only have three at a time, but you basically summon demons and they help you. Um, it says magic because it's both melee and ranged, like you can huck your scythe from a distance and hit them up close, so that's pretty cool. Really really good with damage. Alright, let's go show you some character creation. Alright, here we are at the character creation screen. I'll show you both male and female looks, just a brief overview, but yeah, you can, you can rotate and zoom in and out and whatever. Alright, so first we have... Alright, gender, face, um, the customization isn't, like, great, I mean, it's not like you get to, like, move and reshape the eyes and stuff like in other MMOs, but I mean, this is anime, so, duh, you have to have certain kinds of eyes. Alright, so here's your first face. Second, kind of like a, a cute face. This is what I have for my character, like, cute but also serious, I like it. Super innocent face. I will slaughter your family face. Very sly I don't even know what to call this one. That's just like... Attack on Titan Levi face. <laughs> it's just like pure anger, just disgust. And here we have your like, Nako cat face. And then just another innocent, angelic looking face. Alright, so... And you also have ten different hairstyles here. So we have... I'll zoom out. Two ponytails. This is the hairstyle I have. A short type of hair. Bouncy curly. And like a bun type hair. Uh, we have long, majestic, flowing hair. Kind of a cute little braided ponytail, pretty type thing. Here we have a long braid. Kind of got that Katniss look going for it. Uh, short, another type of bun type hairstyle. And just a short bob type of thing. We'll do... We'll just like make a Miku. Um, 
All right, and then we have all different kinds of hair colors. We got like yellow, green, obviously anime, so you just get like everything. Blue, purple, pink, white, black, tan, brown, pretty much everything. And then you also have eye colors. So like blue, purple, green, orange, you know, pretty much anything you want. Maybe that. And then skin tones. These are all you have, pretty much. It's pretty much as dark as it gets. <laughs> Alright, so... I don't know what the default was, but it was that. And then you can, like, preview different actions. I don't know why it keeps the weapon in their hand. It does not do that in-game, I swear. <laughs> can I cut, cut my head off? Jeez. Alright, and then here you would type their name. And they have to check because, you know, you can't have the same name twice. Confirm character. Here we have the male. I'll show a different face this quick. Um. Wow, that's mysterious. I've never made a male character, actually. <laughs> Alright, so we got slanty eyes. I've seen those these eyes a lot. Innocent, but determined face. Wow, it's kind of like a... Like a... I don't even know what to call that. Romantic face. Puppy dog eyes. Serious face. I will kill you. Another more serious animated type face. Another serious face. Wow, that's like pure like... I love you. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> and of course a nickel face. Alright, hairstyles. We've got kind of like a long samurai look. A short- I, I like this one, this one's cool. Like a short- I mean a long hairstyle. I like this one too. Spiky. I am Hedgehog. I am Sonic. This majestic swooshy one. I think this is probably my favorite out of all of them. Uh, longer type hair. Another samurai. Oh, that's like super samurai looking. Just a short little ponytail hairstyle. And then, swoosh. Majestic. Oh, and this one. I don't think I showed that one. All the bots have that hairstyle. I've like never seen anyone with this hairstyle. Why have I never seen anyone with this? We're gonna keep this. And then you have the same color, eye color, skin tone. Blah, blah, blah. Here I can talk about the blank. We'll call him Crimson Wolf. But we can't say Wolfie because he's a dude, so let's do Crimson Wolf. Crimson Wolf, 976. If that wasn't use, I'd be concerned. Alright, let's go find our Scythe dude and Eidolon. Also, I should have mentioned before with the classes, um, you the first weapon or class that you pick right here on the creation screen is the one you start off with, but once you hit level 40, you get to pick a secondary class. So basically... You can pair up two classes, the two your two favorites or the two that you think would work best together, and you can use both of them. So I think that's really cool. Um, like, my character is a duelist and a gunslinger. I chose duelist because, I don't know, I just, it's just cool. I like I like duelist. I think it's a really cool thing to have. But um, I chose gunslinger as my secondary because it's a ranged weapon. So I think having, um, like, from personal experience, I think having one melee and one ranged uh, class classes together is very very useful with different dungeons because some monsters you'll have to fight melee or have to fight range due to their the different attacks that they use so having both as an option is really cool all right let's find him at Eidolon all right so here are you the four starter Eidolons that you can choose from Eidolons are basically kind of like little spirits that follow you around you can you know take them out whatever you want they help you fight basically they're like your little minions and you can collect a bunch of different ones by earning them throughout the game, which I'm going to make like a whole separate video about because it's so complicated and hard to explain in a short video. So here we have Seraph, and it, was, it shows their um, attack, well not attacks, but their uh, skills and things over here, their stats. That's, that's what I'm looking for, stats. It shows their stats over there. So he's good with evasion, defense, single target, all that stuff. Here we have Merrily. She does. She's the only one that does um, heals, I believe. She's my starter, Eidolon, that I usually choose. Yeah, she has full healing. 
defense, good stuff. Here we have Grim, the little dragon. Uh, he's good with defense, area of effect, single target. And then we have Alessa, the unicorn. Super cute. I've actually never used her. She's like the only one I haven't used before. <laughs> but she's good with um, single target, good evasion. Yeah, good stuff. So these are your four starter idologs to choose from. Pick one and confirm your character, and then you'll be thrown into the game. Alright, so now we've been thrown into the opening scene of the game, where you are like the highest level ever and you're super OP, but you're actually not, you have no idea what you're doing. Um, I'm actually going to save this, our character here, for a later series I plan on doing as Aura Kingdom walkthrough videos. So I'm not going to start this opening thing yet, I'm going to pop back into my main character. But uh, yes, you can await Crimson Wolf 987, our majestic warrior here, um, showing us how to how did you walk through the game for later on? So let's hop back onto Natsuki, and uh, I'll show you around in there. All right, and now we are in the game. So this is the basic interface. You use the WASD keys to move, just like any other normal MMO. Uh, the Q key rotates you to the left, and the E key rotates you to the right. So that's a nice, uh, smooth action. I really like that. Uh, really smooth transitions in the motions. I use the space bar to jump, obviously. Um, Z uh, equips and unequips your weapons. It, it doesn't actually equip them and unequip them, it just does that cool motion. Um, X is the shortcut to sit down. Um, you can also do a drop, and if you, well, you can double jump, space bar, and if you do a double jump and then hit R, well, you don't have to double jump, um, you actually glide through the air. I don't really recall what level you unlock that at. I think it's um like level 10 or something. So yeah, that's really nice. Alright, so this video I'm just going to give you the basics of the game, and I will post other videos like further going into detail about some of these things, but right now I'm just going to give you the basic interface. So up here we have your um, character information, pretty much, just basic stuff. You have your icon preview, your name, your HP, your uh, main class and secondary class and your level here we have your auto potion where um if your hp reaches 75 percent it will automatically use whatever potion you have there i don't have anything there right now but um here we have your eidolon um bar so let's see if i summon my vayu here oh hello there um <laughs> all right so here we have vayu and it shows all of his skills um if i have this turned off then he won't attack anything if I have this turned on, then he will. This summon and dismisses him, so we'll put him away. Here we have your party interface. I hooked up with the party with um, with my friend Sky here. Um, they're actually waiting to do a dungeon, so I'm going to leave the party right when I'm done describing this, because I'm not going to run dungeons with them. But um, he's a good sport. He, he let me join his party, so shout out to Sky. Um, so here it shows the players you're in a party with. Um, if I wanted, we could have one more. You can have only up to five in a party. Um... So yeah, it shows what they're saying. Uh, it has the same thing as up here, basically. Um, it doesn't show their character preview because they're all on a different channel than me. They're in channel 4, I'm in channel 2. But when you're on the same channel, it'll um, show their preview, their name, their HP, their level, their classes. And if you um, right-click, you can you have all these options to recruit them to your guild, whisper to them privately, add them as a friend, block them. Support actually does nothing. So I'll just let them know. that I am not running dungeons with them. Alright, if you um, right click your name too, you can leave the party. And now there's nothing there. I feel bad. <laughs> oh well. Alright, down here I have um, chat. You have general chat, whisper, which you can only see between you and um, the person you're whispering to, only you two can see it. Party, only people in your party can see it. Guild, only people in your guild can see it. And trade is the trade channel where basically you just broadcast things you want to sell or trade with other people. And um, they can be like, oh, you know, I want this secret stone lucky pack. Click on their name, right click, whisper, tell them you want it, and, you know, offers, all that good stuff. Um, and you can also see these down here for general, private, guild, region. Um, that means where I am, like, the place I'm at right now is called Crescent Hill. 
one of the maps. Um, so if I were talking region, only people in Crescent Hill could see me, could see what I'm saying. World, everyone in the entire server can see you, no matter what channel they're in. Same thing for trade, everyone within the entire server on all channels can see you. Um, and the party one's not down here because I'm not a party, but that would be down there too. Um, here you can add extra windows, which is what I did. I have one for trade, guild, party, whisper, general. Settings, you can control um, what you see in each one. So here I have all of them in general and, you know, all that good stuff. Down here we have your um, uh, XP percentage. So right now I'm at 66.539% to level 66. This is your tracking bar. So once it reaches each, each of these, um, I can't talk right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, once the bar reaches each of these tick marks, um, you'll be able to increase your points. I'll go into this kind of thing in other videos later. This is just the basics. Um, down here you have your hotkey skill bar. Um, there's actually... Try and lock it here. They actually just recently added a fourth one, so I just have, like, motion skills in there, and you can, like, hide them and add as many as you want. I usually just show these three. So down here I have, like, my main skill skills, my secondary skills, you know, mounting, which I'll show you my mount here. You can collect these, um, you get one through questing in the game, which is just an ostrich. So, I mean, I, I bought a lot of different ones um, throughout the game. Basically, they just increase your move speed and you can ride around on them. I just have a bunch of different ones here. Evil Dragon Graham. A giant badger so yeah mounts are fun to collect um down here we have uh, a new thing that they just added in the re most recent update a trading card game basically by um i don't know i think you can get them from defeating monsters i'm guessing i haven't done it much yet but um from linking your eidolons which i'll go into in my eidolon video that i'll post later hopefully tomorrow i don't, I don't know sometime this week um but you can collect different cards and do like a card battle with other players. Uh, here we have the Eidolon view page area, Eidolon area, <laughs> um, where you can see all the Eidolons you have currently in your party. You can only have three at a time that you can summon and you can um, swap, them out, swap them out. Here you see all of the other ones you've collected, all the ones you haven't collected yet. Um, you can see their level, um, all their stats. So here we have like um, all of Ayu's stats, their introductions, so just about them, their wish, which are items you can collect to up their stats, um, all their bonuses, your Eidolon points, all those Eidolon details. Here we have the Eidolon linking system where you talk to your Eidolons to increase their energy, which is right here, and then when you link them, uh, it uses up some of their energy and they bring you back a gift, which usually are Eidolon experience crystals, which you can use to level up your Eidolon, you can get trading cards from them, you can get emblems from them, which there are different kinds. Um, here, I'll show you some. Here, you can get all these different kinds of emblems or crests, symbols, whatever. I told them emblems, it's easier. Um, which, as you can see, this one increases defense by one to three, so you feed them to your eidolons and it increases that specific stat for them. So, here, I, you can talk to each of them th um, only three times if they have the chat bubble. If they don't, then you can't talk to them. So, you see, I linked her. Now she's down to 39, so she'll bring me back a little gift later on, after 10 minutes. Here we have your character information, so your level, your name, your gear score, which you get from armor. Here on this side and these two down here are your armor. Here are your trophies, which also increase your stats, and your main and secondary weapon. Um, down here you have all your costume items, here are all your stats. Here we have your personal title, which you get from listing it on NPC conversations or by doing quests. Each one has a certain bonus to them. Envoy's path, which you increase as you level. Each one has... You basically just kind of travel along here and pick which ones are good for your class and they increase different skills. An adventure medal. These you get from different quests. I'll explain all this in further videos. This is just the basics. Here we have your backpack, which, you know, inventory, you store your items there, obviously. Um... We have stacking, salvaging, equip fortification, stall setup, fusion, holy chest. You can add extra slots. So here are 15 slots, 10 slots, 15, 15, 5. Adding extra space to your backpack. It starts out with only like two rows and then I've just been building it with time. 
<coughs> Excuse me. I've been sick for like two weeks. Uh, here we have your skills. So your primary, your secondary, and special. Here we have general skills, which is all the actions, pretty much. Um, yeah, so those are fun. Here we have masteries, which these... You just pick which one goes with your class, basically. So this has crit plus five, fortify, de fortify decoy, and all that stuff. And this is another new thing they just added. You can pick whichever one you want, whichever one suits your character best. Two new um, attacks, like here, this is right here, Sanguine Desire. Sanguine Desire. Um, and as you kill mobs, you get more points, which you can then put into here. So I have 20 and I have 30 for upping my evasion. Here we have your journal. Which basically, you, yeah, I've got quest tracker turned on, which shows my quests here that I currently have active. So here you should see all your quests, your achievements. And uh, here in your achievements, you just see all of the different things you can do. Quests and side quests and all that stuff. Here's the recommended event screen. This pops up every time you log on. Basically, it's just different things you can do each day. And like how many times you have to do them. And then as you do them, you can earn points and get special prizes. These are your um, daily login rewards. So, you know, if you log in for one day, you get this. Log in on a second day, you get this. So, and then once you log in 10 days, you get like the master box. Just take that while I can. Sort my backpack. Stack those up. Alright. So, yes, that's that. Here we have guild. This is my guild. Oh, he actually updated the bulletin. Nice. So here you see your guild level. Level four gets you a guild hall, which um, I can show you in a bit. Um, so yes, that's pretty cool. Um, this shows um, who's all online. You can click show on offline members. As you can see right now, I'm the only one online. Um, so if you see everyone who's in the guild and um, their name, their level, their first, um, main and secondary class, their location, and if they're not online, it'll show the date they last logged on and the time, their ranking, their guild contribution, which you get by doing bulletin board quests, and their memo. Uh, here you have the guild name, guild leader, the date it was established, members, so we have 16 members. We are able to have 80 and only one is online. Guild XP, once we reach this much we will get to level five here we have guild affairs so basically just notes so like yeah so <laughs> basically just notes how i was reading those here we have guild commands and the guild leader pretty much controls all this but i am second in command so i can basically change stuff too um so you have recruit info basically about the guild guild events just what has gone on. Um, guild ranks, which the guild leader sets up all this stuff, so he named, you can change the names of these two. So it's commander, vice commander, captain, veteran, initiate. And um, then the guild leader, only the guild leader can change this, um, what each rank can do. So guild leader can do all of these, I can do all of these, and everyone else can just do, you know, these two and whatever. I'm thinking he'll make me a guild leader soon since he doesn't come online much anymore, but you never know. And then guild instance, which is like a dun a daily dungeon that you can do. So you have like, I can do this one. I have 100 stamina, it takes up 20, so I can do it however many times. And um, increase uh, the contribution and earn different things along the way. So that's fun to do daily. Here we have the item mall. Um, each time you log in, well each day, every day, um, you get daily loyalty points. So here I got 10. It's always 10. Um, so here you have your currency, AP, which you have to buy with real life money, and then loyalties, which you earn from doing various things in game. The item mall are only items you can get with AP, so basically you have to spend real life money to get all the really good stuff. Here we have loyalty shop, which you can buy with these. Paragon table, which is, wow, it's really good today. Actually, not really. That looks like a ripoff. But, um, it's basically just gambling. You can use AP to buy these things called ruby coins or loyalties, but you, this is the only way you can get with loyalties, so I need like 8,000. And what you do is you spend 200 ruby coins to basically it just spins through and it lands on something, and you just keep going and try and get something good. 
if you land on something called emerald shards, these things, which there isn't any in here, um, basically you have to accept those, and then you can use different emerald shards to go higher. And it looks like they have three different ones today, so that's interesting. And this is another new thing they added, the dressing room. So basically you can look at a bunch of different items in game and like be like, oh, that looks good, I want to buy that. And um, you can view ones from like your alternate gender, so if I was a dude, this is what I would look like <laughs> if I had that hat. So like, hat face, costume, ornament, weapon, mount, Eidolon. So you can view different Eidolons too. I'm going to show you my personal favorite Eidolon. I want something like that. Anacar! Anyways, okay, so that's the item all. And then here you have your settings. So switch channel. Like I said before, you can switch between channels while you're in game. Settings, UI, um, switch between your characters, quit, continue, blah, blah, blah. Um, like I said earlier about the quest tracker, these are my in current in progress quests that I have tracking. Here is, um, another chat window but this is um people recruiting for dungeons so you see like this person wants to do level 60 otherworld uh, minor step so you can like message them and be like hey recruit me so that's nifty oh no oh okay never mind sorry okay so up here this is your mini map um you can also you can open it by clicking on this and it'll bring up the map you can view where everything is just select all of these it shows you what each of the symbols mean, so you can see them all on the map in the different regions, and if you're in a party, you'll see little blue diamonds where each of your party members are on each map. So you can like view the different different areas um, that you've been able to go to and things. You can um, seek out NPCs, like search them out, and it'll show you where they are on the map, so that's nice. Here we have the hide players button, so if you, like, I have that clicked right now so people don't disrupt my video, but, um, it just basically won't show other players except for ones in your party. Here we have, well, here, go down here. Here we have the leaderboard, which just shows, basically, who is really good at PvP, the PvP events. Here we have Battlefield, so it shows, like, what's currently going on and what'll be coming up next for PvP. This actually isn't PvP, well, I mean, I guess it could be, but, um, <laughs> this is, like, the Orkindom quiz, which... They ask you like 20 questions, it's basically 20 questions, but or things about Aura Kingdom. So if you pay attention throughout the game, you answer them and then you can earn loyalty points and possibly costume items and like, I could join right now if I wanted to. And if you view the timetable, it shows what happens when for different events. So that's nice. Here we have the Sky Tower, which is like a massive dungeon with tons of floors. You can pick which group you want. You'll have to like look online for time. Well, I mean, you don't have to, but... Like here are the times. Um, look for the guild raids, the normal raids, pick a group, join it, go take a stab at it. Here we have your mail. So your inbox, if you want to send mail, you click who it's to, put a subject, put a message. You can click regular mail, each one costs five silver. And you can like send items that are tradable, so if I wanted to like send, I guess that's not tradable. Um, if I wanted to send large experience crystal, I can send it as regular mail or cash on delivery. So if I click that, then I can s type in a price. Let's say I want to sell that for 10 gold. I type in 10 gold, type in someone's name, click send. It'll send to them and pop up here. They'll click on it, they'll click on the mail, they'll click cash on delivery, It'll s and the, it'll automatically pay you from them. So that's nice. You don't have to go like meet them in person or anything. So that's your mail. Uh, here we have party search. So you can um, look at the different dungeons throughout the game and see like who wants to do party runs. So this person is recruiting. They only have two out of five people. You can see who they are, their level, their name, their class. You can um, apply, so join their party. You can recruit, start your own party recruitment. Broadcast is what sends it into this chat window showing people what you want to do. Teleport, automatically teleport you to the dungeon. And like everyone in your party will automatically switch channels to where you are so you can all do the dungeon, so that's nice. And suspend drops your party recruitment. Here we have your friends list. Um, you can do 10 of these greets per day. Each one just sends a little message to that person. So here's the little message. You can customize it. Mine is yay for free loyalties. Because uh, each one gives you a loyalty point. 
So it's a nice way to get loyalties daily. Um, and the intimacy level here, um, like I have two intimacy with Sky, the person I was at a party with before. Um, you get a higher intimacy level the more you run dungeons and fight things with them. So since I have two with him, I get two loyalties when I greet him. So that's nice. Um, so yeah, this is your greeting. You can change it, save it, um, re remove friends, block friends, check your block list, you know, name, level, class, their location, all that good stuff. And then here, this is your victory cry, so when you duel someone, and if I were to beat them, this would pop up on the top of their screen. I know, I'm sassy. <laughs> and then here, we have your adventure encyclopedia. And this basically just shows, like, all the weapons and armor and stuff that you can earn through here. Which, um... So you can, like, look at armor, items, accessories, and you can actually purchase them in a way. Like, let's say I want to get this Wily's Mask of Illusions. Click on Requirement. Now, as you can see, some of them don't have a requirement because you can't get them on here, but this one I can. And as you can see, I need this many Dragon Points. No, I need this many Dragon Points. I only have this many, and I can't exchange for it because I don't have enough. And Dragon Points are another currency that you get by killing monsters. Like, you kill monsters, and in exchange you get Dragon Points. You just kinda, they just kind of stack up over time. And down here... Basically, the more dragon points you earn, the higher this goes, and you can earn items along the way. Um, if you want to view your currencies, you can go to your backpack. Here you see your gold, your silver, your fragments, which you get by deleting and salvaging different weapons and armor. I, I can show that in a later video. Here you have your loyalty points, tokens, which you get from doing quests, guild funds, which you get from doing the guild quest, dragon points, fishing tokens, archaeology, cooking, um... Collector token, sorry, <laughs> war coins, valor coins, and dual coins. You get all these from doing different things in the game. And up here, it'll basically show your buffs. All the buffs you get when you're in a party. All those things. Uh, let's see if I can go find a player so I can show you. I don't think we have many people on at this time of night. Here's someone. So let's say I want to friend request this person right here. You right click them. And their name will pop up on top of your screen, just like in the party mode. With all their information, you can see all their buffs, all the things they currently have active. If you right-click, you have tons of options. You can recruit them to your guild, invite them to a party, whisper to them, add them as a friend, block them, support, which still does nothing. <laughs> Trade with them. Auto-follow, which you just follow them. You don't have to control yourself. You just follow wherever they go. Duel them. Card duel. View their equipment. Unless they have their equipment blocked like I do, so you can't see it. Uh, view their emblems or report them. So, uh, yeah, as far as the basics of this game go, that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, I don't fear. I know that was just, like, really rushed. It was just like, hey, here's the things on screen. Good luck. <laughs> um, I'm gonna make a couple more videos, um, that goes elaborately into some of the things in this game that are more complicated. Like, um, how to get Eidolons, how to get good armor and salvaging equipment, um, how to know, like, what to choose for what situation, and, you know, blah blah blah, all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, I'll explain more of those things as I go through making more videos and organize them well. I'll talk about, like, dungeon running and combat and all, all that good stuff, but for now this is just a basic how to play this game, what it's about, and, uh, yeah. Hello, hello everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, sorry this video turned out to be like 40 minutes long. I <laughs> did not know it would be that long. It's actually a lot shorter than my first attempt, because my first video I just tried to like cram all the information in this entire game into like one video and it was like an hour and a half long. So I decided that I'm gonna divide this whole like how to play Ark Kingdom thing into like parts. Like this was part one, all the basic like UI stuff. And I'm also- and I'm gonna be doing other ones um, with all the more complicated information, like a whole video just dedicated to like how to get Eidolons and all another one all about combat stuff and um, like one about crafting, just all those different kinds of uh, more detailed things I'm gonna make separate videos on. So this is part one and yes you can actually expect parts like two, three, four, whatever this time because um, I can tell that I'm gonna have like next to no homework this school year 
So I hope I can post like a video or more, probably more like per week, depending on how it goes. So I'm hoping to post like an Eidolon video or something um, within the next few days. So um, you can look forward to that. Um, I'm sorry, my voice kind of sounds like a man. And if I sniffled all during the video, I've been sick for like two weeks. <laughs> so um, that kind of sucks like a lot. So, but, you know, oh well, it's all good. So, um, I was going to say something else. I don't remember what it was. Anyways, um, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. And um, if you have any questions, comments, um, any suggestions for things you'd like me to explain or videos you'd like me to make or games you want me to try out, um, leave a comment in the um, down below. In the down below. <laughs> Sorry, I'm tired. Uh, anyways, so yeah, hope you liked, and I will catch you later. Stay fancy. Come on.